Hey guys, welcome back to Actress Approved. I am Julia Montgomery Brown, and today we are gonna be talking about travel. Um, very exciting stuff going on. We, my husband and I are going to Bordeaux, France, for all my American people, <laughs> um, tomorrow to go look for a house to buy. So um, it's gonna be a holiday house, sort of weekends and holidays for friends and family. And uh, so it's super exciting. So as I was getting ready to pack and everything, and I thought, yeah, I should definitely do a vlog about this because I have learned so many good tips and tricks and uh, you know things to make travel a lot more seamless and more organized. And um, so anyway, so that's what we're gonna do today. Um, first things first, to situate myself here, this is my travel bag. This is my beloved to me bag that I've had for a bazillion years. Um, I love it. It is so durable. I mean, it still looks pretty good. And I've had this thing, gosh, I'm going to say I've had this thing at least for six, seven years. Um, and it has traveled all over the globe. Um, anyway, so it's really cool. It's nylon, which I really like because it's lightweight and also because, um, I can smush a lot of stuff in here. My stepdaughter was here this weekend and she has the most beautiful um, silver case, like a hard case. And I thought, I love that. I had such, uh, such jealousy, totally green with envy, except for that I realized I need to be able to smush a lot of stuff in there. Maybe you can with that, but this just feels like it's a little bit easier for me. Anyway, um, so it's really good. I've got a zip here, um, perfect pouch here. I can stick my laptop in here. Um, or any books or anything like that. And then there's another one here that, you know, any last minute stuff that I forget about, I can cram in there. Um, it's got, you know, the, it's got rollies on the bottom. And then of course I've got this thing. And then the other cool thing is that I can stick that in. And so if you have to check your bag, this actually zips closed. So you don't have to worry about anything catching on there or, um, and it all stays nice and secure. So let's open up this bad boy and see what is going on in here. Hopefully I will do this properly so you guys can see. Right, I'm going to move this over here, open this up, and then I think I'm going to do a little bit of this. Okay, cool. And you can see me. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll move it over here. Okay, anyway, um, so the first thing that you see in my bag is this black fabulous blazer. This is from Joseph. It's got a little bit of schmutz on it. I love this thing. I take this thing wherever I go. It's great because um, I can dress it up, dress it down. I can wear it during the day. I can wear it at night. It just, you know, if we're going to go out to dinner in Bordeaux, then I think, yeah, Keep it a little, uh, just take something a little, a little nicer, just so I'm not, you know, walking around in my grubby clothes all the time. So that's my black blazer, absolute must. I take that everywhere whenever I travel. Now, if you can see this, so these are the coolest things ever. I absolutely love these things. These are packing cubes. So I got these at Muji. Um, in the States, you can get them at the container store. You can get them on Amazon. And what's really good is, as you can see, it's a little cube. It's nylon here, and then it's got this mesh top. So I always know what's in here. Um, and in this particular cube, I just have some uh, little T-shirts. And, you know, I always wear like a little shirt, T-shirt or something underneath my sweaters. So I've got those in there. And then in here, I've got just a denim top and um, just a little, a little fun print. It's supposed to be really warm. So I thought, oh, and this looks very French. So I thought, oh yeah, why not? Um, and then, so those are small. So these packing cubes come in small, medium, and large. I am not kidding. These things were a total game changer for me in, in the travel department. Even my husband and my stepkids are using them. We all completely love them. They're just, they keep everything organized. Um, things don't get messy. And then you open up your bag. It's all neatly put together and, uh, and you know where everything is, which is amazing. Um, this is, okay, so these are smalls, right? This is actually a medium. And I think this kind of looks like a large, right? But anyway, I think they have one larger. I only get the smalls and the mediums. Um, in here, I just have um, some extra jeans, a bunch of sweaters, and uh, yeah, I think I have a couple of blouses in there too. So anyway, 
that's that. Now, um, <laughs> okay, so whenever I go away, I always take a little laundry bag with me. I just like it because I can put all my dirty laundry in here. And this is, look how cute this is. A la vey. This is from Fragonard in Paris. And they have, this is a great gift, by the way. Um, they come in a set of three for your shoes, lingerie, and for your laundry. And um, they're really not expensive at all. I think these were like 20 euros or something like that. And, uh, and it's a great, it's a really fun little gift. But I really always take this with me because, I don't know, I don't like to mix everything up and have dirty clothes with clean clothes. And so then I just know that I can put all of my dirty laundry in here. And then when I'm packing up ready to go home, you know, I've got it all in one spot. So that's super cool. Love that. Now, this is the pièce de résistance, people. This is my Bagolini bag, which I absolutely love. I got this, I bought this on Amazon, but you know what, they have these at uh, the container store as well. It's a fantastic bag. This is for, okay, I don't think that men need this bag, but ladies definitely would love this bag. So it's got all these different compartments. In this front compartment, I always carry a um, shower cap because they don't always have them in the hotel. And uh, I always put it in the front compartment because sometimes when you're checking out and you've just taken a shower and it's wet, so then I just put it in here in its own compartment so it doesn't get everything else wet. Um, and then in here, I have another great item. This is a little, I got this at the container store in New York. Um, it's a little, I keep my jewelry in here. So it's got three pockets, a little one, a medium, and a large one. I don't like those um, travel jewelry bags, one, because I think they're kind of bulky, but two, because I wear a lot of cuffs and stuff, and those are kind of, those are bulky themselves, and so I can't fit all of my jewelry in them. So then I end up carrying that, and then I have to carry something else. This thing is not glamorous, but it really, really does the trick, and I love it. It's super. It works and I can fit and I can separate everything. So I know that earrings stay in one place and cuffs stay in another and, and necklaces and whatever. Okay, so now moving on to this. This is the inside. Look how awesome that is. Okay, so I've got in here I keep, well, the number one thing I wanna show you is got this thing, which is amazing. So I love when they have a hook because often you'll have to hook it. Maybe there's not enough counter space in the bathroom um, and so you need to hook it on. I can put it on a, um, a towel rack or on the back of the door or whatever. So that is really handy. Then I've got a little thing for my toothbrush here. Um, it's got little secure things. So that is always right there. I know where it is. And then it's got all these little, um, what do you call these things? They're, yeah, some kind of, well, they're not Velcro, but they're stretchy, stretchy things. And I just put in, this is the, um, the uh, container for my um, Coco Mademoiselle, which I'll show you that that's in another bag. Um, so yeah, I've got a razor and a hair clip. And then in here, there's a, I've got hair ties and, and a little, uh, this little paper, uh, plastic ziploc -y thing that I got. Um, the container store is awesome for travel stuff. They have, the container store for my UK people is, is in uh, New York. Well, they're all over the place in the States. But anyway, they have all these little plastic bags and those things are fantastic. I put tons of stuff in there. So that's really great, but then look at this. This opens up, and then you've got more pockets. Like it has so many, and then another um, zippy thing up here. It has so much stuff in here. Look, these are totally empty. I don't even, I don't even have enough stuff to put in this thing. It's incredible, this thing. I love it. Anyway, now moving on to the big compartment. You know how, um, yeah, you know how you always get those bags with your shoes? And I always, you know, especially if I buy a nice pair of shoes, and I always think, oh, this is such a nice bag. I never, like, I'm going to be honest, I never put my shoes in a shoe bag when I'm traveling. The only thing I put in my shoe bag is uh, my tennis shoes because they're usually kind of grubby and I don't want them to get everything else dirty. But um, another use for those little bags, so here's a little Isabel Morant one that I've gotten. 
And because I'm going to be staying in a B&B in uh, a couple of nights when I'm in France, I'm taking a hair dryer because God knows I am not going to leave it up to some French farmer to give me a good hair dryer. So I'm bringing my own. So I put it in this little bag, which I think is a great idea. In here I've got brushes and a little clip. And then this is another item of mine that I completely love and I always take it with me when I travel. This is a little travel candle. This is a feu de bois. I stick a little pair of matches here in the top so I don't have to worry about that. And um, oh my gosh, look at this thing. Isn't that the best? I love this thing. My absolute favorite scent. You will hear me say that 400 million times because it's true. But I love having a travel candle. One time um, I was doing this show in, uh, in Liverpool and yeah, some kind of a cheap show. And uh, they did not want to pay for a nice hotel, I can tell you that. So I got stuck in this flea bag hotel. And my saving grace was the fact that I always, whoops, breath gets back in there, was that I always had my feu de bois diptyque candle with me. So whenever I got home after a long day, I would have a glass of wine and light my candle and I was as happy as Larry because my whole room smelled beautiful and I had a nice ambiance and I, I absolutely always, always travel with a travel candle. So that's that. Um, have we covered everything in here? Yeah, we have. Okay, moving on. I'll just put all this stuff back. Um, yeah, the travel thing, it took me a good long time to get all this stuff organized but now you know I really got a system and I love having a system because it just makes it so much easier and then I don't have to worry did I forget something or you know stress that maybe you know I wasn't prepared I just always feel like I mean, we can go through another time you know what to actually you know what clothing items to actually take but look this just zips up really nicely and, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Love it. All right. Moving on. Moving on, moving on. Let's move this up a little bit. Okay. Anyway, now, um, this is a little, which actually I need to get a new one of these. This is um, a Muji. I don't use the Ziplocs that they give you um, at the airport because, yeah. I need to have, I like to have everything organized. And so I like to have my own bag and I keep it packed at all times. So I have doubles of everything so that I don't have to worry that I forgot something. And I don't, I always felt stressed before I double packed everything because, I mean, before I had doubles of everything because I always thought, oh no, I don't want to forget my, you know, my moisturizer or my hair lotion or whatever it was that I was taking because those are all really important items. Um, so in here, I'll just go through this really fast. I just have a couple of things. This is my brand new favorite, favorite hand cream, Caudalie. Um, I love it. It smells like, like an orange. Oh, it's so good. It smells like an orange aromatherapy thing. Love it. You will probably hear me talk about that quite a bit. Um, and then... Another thing I like to do, okay, so in here I also have um, a Sicily facial mask with Linden Blossom. That is really, I'm going to try this. I always like to grab samples when I'm at the department store or whether I'm in, uh, you know, Barney's or Selfridges or where, you know, whatever country I'm in. I always get samples if I can because this, when I travel, that's when I like to try out new stuff. Um, I mean, I try out new stuff at home, obviously, but... Yeah, there's just something about being able to, you know, just use a sample, something you might not normally have picked up. Um, so I've got that one. I've got a uh, Bumble and Bumble thickening shampoo. Um, I've also got a, oh, well, of course, a Sicily pore minimizer because who doesn't need smaller pores? And, oh, and then this is, okay, Kiehl's does great samples. Anytime you go by a Kiehl's counter, just walk up and say, hey, do you have any samples? They will load you up. You can't believe how much stuff they, they hand out. It's fantastic. So in here, I've got, uh, yeah, just a little um, 
mousse that I like to use that because mousse is obviously you can't take the big huge mousse a little mini Baptiste which is dry shampoo um, I've got this is the little thing that goes in my Coco Mademoiselle canister so that's these are the little travel Coco Mademoiselles these are awesome you buy them in threes they last forever it's they are fantastic I love those things and I've got a little hair moist uh, hair whatever it's called conditioner and then this is um, a little moisturizer Dr. Jart, I guess is his name. It's okay. It's um, yeah, it's okay. It got a, it was getting a lot of press for a while. It's fine. I don't, you know, I'm I just use it because it's a small container and it fits in my travel bag. I probably would not buy a full size of that. Um, yeah, I've got my contacts in here, and then I've also got uh, my a double of my Laura Mercier primer and my Laura Mercier found uh, moisturizing foundation both things that I absolutely love and will have in another post. Um, and then I've got, okay, so these little containers I get at Muji. You can also get them at the container store. These little, ta these little um, I did not do these myself. I actually bought a, a little packet that had all the pre-typed things and then I just stuck them on here. Sometimes they peel off, but they've, these have stayed on for a good long time. And um, it's great. They've got them for cleansing lotion, conditioner, shampoo, um, moisturizer, all kinds of stuff they've got. And those are really handy. This is my uh, anti-acne cream. And little eye drops. And then, oh, I love these things. These are little, um, this is another thing. If you're ever by a Diptyque store, uh, Diptyque, which is in Paris, and they're also in London. And I don't know if they have a store in New York. They might have a store in New York as well. Um, but anyway, they make, they always give you samples. So again, like I was saying, always get samples. Oh, oh, love it. This is for 34. I love this stuff. I like these much better than the actual thing because the actual container I can't travel with. One day I'm going to come up with something about travel, uh, fragrances because that is always I just don't understand why people do not do more travel size for their uh, fragrances. I don't get it. Like, why wouldn't you do that? It's such a no-brainer. Anyway, okay, so that's what I've got in there. Now, this is another favorite item of mine. This is also a Bagolini. This is the same as my black um, big huge case inside my uh, Toomey bag. Now, this thing is fantastic. It So I go back and forth a lot between London in Jersey. I think I told you that, that I live in Jersey in the Channel Islands. And so I always stay with friends. So all my adorable, kind friends have all given me their house keys. <laughs> so I always keep it in here in the side. So I never have to worry that I've forgotten the keys. They always come with me. And then this just zips open. And in it, I've got, um, obviously my passport. I have all of my cards, my, um, yeah, my UK card is in there and any of my airline cards. Um, this is handy. It's got a little, you know, it slats in there. I get a pen in there because I always have to fill stuff out. And then in here, which is really handy as well, is a little um, folder so I can put all my receipts and everything in there um, if I'm going to try to get VAT back or tax back when I go through the airport. Um, it, this is a fantastic travel thing. Now listen. Anybody who knows me, and it's kind of dirty too, sorry about that. Um, anybody who knows me knows that my least favorite color in the world is red. Okay, I do not like red, but why do I have this in red? This is why. Whenever I put this in my huge bag that has tons of stuff in it that I travel with, I always have anxiety about my passport because I travel all the time and I, I have anxiety that if I lost my passport, that would just be a complete disaster for me. Since this is red, all I have to do is look in my bag and as long as I see this red case, I know that everything is exactly where it's supposed to be and that I have not misplaced anything. Because I don't know about you, but I am the person who is running through the airport and always thinking, oh, oh, what did I do with my passport? Where is it? I, I think I put, oh, is it? And I'm always double checking, double checking, double checking because it totally freaks me out. It's a little, um, Let's call it a little uh, yeah, issue for me. Anyway, that's it. That's how I travel. 
I think it's, I think it's, um, yeah, it's taken me a long time to get all this stuff figured out. But anyway, I don't know. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that was useful. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm off tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to, uh, shoot some stuff for you in Bordeaux and take you guys along. Maybe I'll, you know, take you into one of the house viewings that we do. Um, but I'm really, really super excited and I'm super excited to share all that stuff with you. So that's it for Actress Approved, Julia Montgomery Brown. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, <laughs> whatever. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys back here. Take care.